What is up guys, it's Soul Bash. We are back and we are playing a new game that just released today. It's called Frantic Shooter and we're right at the very beginning of it. Slide from any point. Okay, so it's pretty much a slide to move type. No joystick. Try to reach the four corners. Don't hide the character with your finger. You can drag and drop in any part of the screen. Huh. So the slide to move, it's kind of weird because different points uh, moves it a little different. So you can move it just a little bit or you can move a lot. You can also precisely move precisely if slide your finger without releasing. Focus on dodging, Eva knows where to shoot. Okay, so this person's name is Eva and K. Okay. So this is a top-down shooter. Like I said, just released this morning. I believe it's by Bully Picks. And here we go. That's all. You're ready to survive. Okay. So here we go. And I guess the key is to not get hit and kill as much stuff as possible. Collect the little pink things and okay, weapon level up. Collect experience to fill the counter. Okay. Which ones are experience? I'm assuming the pink ones. Okay, yeah, the pink ones are the experience. And yeah, keep leveling up the weapon. Don't see anything else. There it is. Test your weapon. Okay, so we got a new weapon once it levels up. And the sporadicness of the movement. It's a little weird. I, it's not very reliant. You can't really control exactly where you want to be. And let's see. I'm assuming that's your health bar at the bottom. Power ups are your friends. They temporarily increase your skills. So the blue things are your power ups. And here comes a boss. We're just going to move very slowly to try to avoid everything he puts out. He's just shooting one thing at a time. So it's not very hard right there. But I'm. Assuming it's going to get a lot harder as you go. All right, there's a lot of stuff over here. Ready to save your planet, let's go. Go ahead and collect this stuff. All right, here is the main page, Frantic Shooter. And let's check out what they have in the menus. All right, you have different characters that you could get. Unlock them. It looks like uh, each character is 99 cents. So if you want to unlock a new character, it's 99 cents. And let's go to the weapons. Weapons, okay, you actually can buy the weapons with the things you get from the game, so that's pretty cool. So I guess the hero really doesn't matter unless they do something completely different. So let's get into some gameplay, and let's see what we can get into. Okay, the maps are random. I took a hit right there. But you do regenerate health, as you see right there. I'm about dead already. So let's try to stay away from everything while still collecting some of the stuff. All right, we've healed all the way back up, so that's pretty cool. You can actually regenerate health, but you take a lot of damage right there. And I mean a lot. One hit takes about a third of your health. Yeah, about a third of your health. So another hit right now would probably kill me if I want to regen right there. Let's get around this. And um, it's randomly generated, like I said, from what I was reading, and it doesn't seem like uh, there's a whole lot that you can control. Ooh, that took a big hit from him. I'm assuming this is a boss. It is. And we are getting wrecked. All right, let's stay away from him. Those big ones suck. They keep following you. All right, we did take out that boss. And it just continues on, nothing stops. Oh, I'm wondering what happens when you actually do die. So we got a weapon upgrade. How long does it last though? The shooting, that targeting, it's not very good. Uh, seems like I miss quite a bit. Seems like it would be a lot better if you were actually able to, you know, move yourself with a, like a joystick type. Wow. And then just go ahead and shoot yourself. See, it's just completely missing everything right there. And there's no way to really avoid too much of this. And we died. First boss. Okay. 
knew how to score. You can watch a video, pay coins, or restart the game. So let's restart and let's check out the coins that we got. Uh, you can get a gift. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the weapons since we actually have a little bit of the coin now. We can't actually buy an upgraded weapon. So what's the biggest one we can buy? All right, let's get something that's got a little bit of a spray to it maybe. Uh, let's try this one out. All right, available during the next two hours. Okay, so you don't permanently get to keep the weapons. Um, okay, these are more like heat-seeking missiles, I guess. That's pretty cool. So, does throw a bit of a twist to it. Took a pretty big hit right there. Weapon level up. Took another hit. Okay, if you don't collect this stuff, it does disappear too. So, let's not die right here on the first stage. And let's just hide back in the corner a little bit and let some of the stuff come to me. If they will. There's two more, it seems. They're hiding behind the pillars. And the weapon seems to be doing fairly well so far. Everything stays out for a little bit. Kind of heat seeks. Weapon level up again. What am I taking hits from? Oh, the pillars, they have spikes on them. That's what I was taking a hit from. This guy's got laser beams. What the crap? All right, that stage is done. We got a weapon boost right here. And it's another boss. And let's just stay away from, there we go. Almost died again. Um, wondering if there's any health upgrades that you could possibly get. Now that one appeared inside of that so we're not going to be able to get that here we go another boss holy crap looks like a hammerhead that does oh my goodness so let's dance around these if we can and wait where'd he go okay so he just spawned a whole bunch of stuff weapon upgrade right here here we go here we go time to take him out Got him in a half health. And he's starting to shoot again. So let's get away from him. I mean, it's really fun game. A bit sporadic. Ugh. You don't ever know what's going to pop up anywhere. So I guess that's the, uh, the good thing about the game. I mean, everything changes every time you play it. So that's not too bad. And we actually took him down. Uh, 2198p. I'm not sure what that is at the very top, but I know the coins are there at 194. So let's continue on until we do die again. Which hopefully uh, we actually make it through a couple more stages. Oh, these have a little bit more hit points. They take more hits to kill. So it's going to obviously get harder and harder as you progress through the levels. So I'm assuming that uh, number on the top is your actual score. Like I scored like 600 and something on the last one. So hopefully it does change. Uh, and I'm curious of like the leaderboards and I guess we can find out real quick. New high score. Uh, you can pay 50 coins to continue or watch a video. So let's pay 50 coins and continue. Cause I want to see what goes along further in the game. Now it's still showing red around it when I'm actually full health, so that's interesting. Took another hit. So these are hitting a lot harder as well. Kind of stay away from those guys. They do have laser beams. And it's getting a bit chaotic. Uh, Alright, the power-up's fixing to go away. So it doesn't last very long. And we died again. Alright. So this is a new game just out called frantic shooter pretty cool if you want to try it out you can download it it's available on android and ios so i did notice something before i actually stopped recording and it said something about a gamepad so i pulled out my gamepad connected it via bluetooth and immediately it started working and the movement is a lot more stable i'm actually able to control this a lot better so 
playing with a gamepad might give you an advantage in this game and it's pretty cool uh, I really didn't expect a gamepad to work with a game like this that's got so much limitations on its movement to begin with just from the touch screen so that's pretty unique now let's go ahead and get this guy killed nice so guys if you have a gamepad try it out with a gamepad it's pretty cool and we're gonna leave it at that if you guys have any more questions about this game let me know in the comment section below uh, let me know what you think about the game guys uh, as always like comment and subscribe I am Solvash you guys have a nice day